I love cooking. It calms me down. Like I once went through a breakup and I went to the restaurant at five in the morning and made a pot of veggie chili because I needed to. But the path has always been emotionally connected somehow because I'm such an emotional person. So yeah, there's a lot of heart behind everything. Hi, I'm Jenny Wilson and I work at Amy's Place in Buffalo. It will be 12 years in the summer. I was going to culinary school at the time and I ended up there and I never left. <laughs> I knew when I was young that I was like interested in it, but I didn't know that it would become what I did as my career. I went to college for English for a while and I felt a little pressured to go right into college from high school, which sometimes works out for people and sometimes it doesn't. And it wasn't for me. I, I mean, I had always been cooking, but there was kind of a click in me. I worked at this pizzeria when I first started out when I was like 14 or 15 for a really long time and um, it was connected with a hockey rink. And so I ended up really like diving into making specific things for people that weren't on the menu. And at that point I started actually cooking for one of the hockey players' poker games on Friday nights as like an extra thing that I did. I've done a good amount of catering. I have a good amount under my belt. Um, but that was, it was, it was like a weird <laughs> segue to catering. And they were always super, everyone in my life has always been really supportive. I can recall back to, you know, second grade when you had to submit your recipe for the recipe book. And a lot of people were like, hot dog, boil, put ketchup on, enjoy, you know? Mine was like a two page rendition of stuffed green peppers um, that I went through with my gram. Having my gram make all that stuff when I was a kid and be really into it. Definitely like influence. I've always been a huge fan of food. Um, I mean, who isn't? But it wasn't or like, I really want to do this because everybody around me is doing this. Because they weren't. <laughs> I weirdly found it myself. All of the things that I love to do um, involve feeding all the my loves. I have a lot of people around me that are vegan and also Amy's Place does a lot of, you know, vegan stuff. Shortly after I started at Amy's, I was veg for around four years. During that time, I wanted to teach myself as much as I possibly could about working with ingredients that um, didn't include any meat or dairy. And so I kind of just completely went that direction with my culinary training and teaching myself. And Amy's Place also helped me mold me into that. Probably right after that was when I learned under Stephen Ellen at Bistro. I also spent some time in New York City um, under some chefs there. Those were the, like challenging moments and I was, and I constantly want that to be happening in my life. So I constantly am trying to teach myself or learn from whoever or just keep that rolling. I love Amy's, they've always been supportive you know, when I was working with Stephen Allen, I was taking a weekend off to go do, you know, a science museum wedding or a this wedding or a something else. Or when I went to New York City, I was there for six weeks, but they let me do that, you know, and still be with them. It's all learning, and I, I love Stephen Allen for letting me do this here, honestly, because they're so good to me. I'm like, are you sure, dude? I can't, are you sure I can do this? <laughs> they're like, shut up. But I've thought about a lot of what I'm gonna make for Sunday supper. I am going to have the entire thing be vegan. I have this thing about any of my vegan friends. They're all so cool about everything. You know, they'll go anywhere and do anything and they are always just like, whatever. If I have to fucking eat lettuce, then I will, you know? And that, that like pisses me off sometimes, you know, because I feel like everyone should be able to eat everything all the time and that's just me wanting to feed all of my people at all times. But, you know, being able to go on a fancy date and eat everything and not have an issue is important to me. Cause all my meat eating friends will be fine too and they'll eat everything. I have a pretty good tribe. But it's always, it's always back to I don't know, feeding my people. That's like my whole thing. That's what pushes me every day. 
honestly. It's all my people. I love all my people. <laughs>